In this assignment, we'll be learning how to make a photograph look like a painting. You'll have a subject photo, and you're going to combine it with a background of paint. I will be uploading these backgrounds for you to choose from, and you can pick your own subject photo if you want. So let's get to it. First of all, let's copy your subject photo. So go to Edit, Copy, and then go to your Paint Background and do Paste and then press enter and new layer and then you can get the move tool and position it however you need. I'm going to slide her down okay now you're going to put the uh, effect called water pixels so go to filter art artistic water pixels and when you first choose it it's going to come out um, this default setting and that's a little bit too much of an effect I think so if you go over on to the um, super pixel size and make it about I don't know somewhere around 10 you can leave those other settings like they are but the super pixel size anywhere between like 10 and 15 I'm going to go down a little bit more I think that looks good around 11 okay all right so the next thing that you want to do after you do the effect is copy the background layer so we're going to go to click on that layer and then go to edit copy and then paste and then press enter and new layer and then pull that background copy of the background up on top of the subject photo and then you're going to get the eraser and get this brush called acrylic 5 and put it on like 250 somewhere around there so it's pretty big that brush is right under the star and then what you want to do is just start clicking so that some of the face is removed you don't need to like click and drag and erase all of it because we want to keep some of the splattery effect on there so I'm just gonna click and erase part of that background so that you can see the subject photo showing through. Try to be random on this. Don't try to erase a lot of it. Just it looks a lot better if you kind of make it random like this. You can leave some of the splotches. All right, so the next thing we want to do is I'm going to change the color a little bit so you can go to hue chroma and I'm going to pull the hue down a little bit, give it a little bit more of an orangey effect. I think that looks better. All right, now go to your subject photo and just lower the opacity a little bit so that you can see some of that background texture come through. I'm going to put mine about here in the 70s. All right, now we're going to make a new layer and pull it up on the top of everything else. And then I'm going to get the paintbrush with white paint. And it's going to be the same brush that the eraser was, acrylic 5, the same setting, 256. And then start adding some white splotches around the edges so that most of the painting is in the middle of your image area. So I'm just going to get rid of this corner over here on this corner. Like I said, try not to just click and drag all over. Just kind of click, 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 click so that it's more random looking. Try to get the edges of your image clean and white so that most of the painting is um, concentrated in the middle. All right, I think that looks pretty much how I want it. So the next thing you want to do is type your name. So get a color that's darker than, let's just go with black. All right, now I'm going to get the text tool and type.
type my name. That's a little on the big side. I thought you could change the font right here, but every time I try to do it, it doesn't work for some reason. So I always go over here on the left hand side and change it, make it a little smaller. And then I'm going to get the move tool. And you have to wait till it has a plus sign to move it. If you don't, it won't move properly. So hover it over your name. And then when you get the plus symbol, then you can move it. All right. So that's all you have to do for this. Um, when you're done, you want to save it, just a regular save, and save it as the XCF file, which is like a Photoshop layered file. This file you just keep for yourself. Do not turn that in. That's just an editable file, so you keep that for yourself. And then you want to export for the file that you turn in. If you just type in PNG or JPEG, either one, that's good. That will um, make it automatically export to the file type we need. So just press export. You can leave all the settings in the default, nothing fancy, and then say export. All right, and that's the file that you'll turn into Edmodo.